What is boost? Boosted power is a relatively new thing. It's where two, or more, different torque curves have been programmed into the engine's computer. One of those will have a higher maximum power or torque, but will only be available under certain conditions. Most commonly, it can be accessed during high-speed transport work and when running the PTO. Why? The limitations of the standard torque curve, which is usually derated by engine makers to suit the machine it is fitted to, are set to protect the weakest link in the driveline from being subject to loads that it isn't designed to cope with, think transmission, axles or clutch. A good example is the field mode available on a lot of modern tractors for low-geared cultivations, making the boost-badged torque curve available here would send far too much torque through the driveline for the other components to be able to cope with, long-term, anyway. Basically, boost allows tractor makers to give operators more power by pushing the engine closer to its limits, but only where it's safe to do so. Engine Power Measuring Standards Thumb through any tractor spec sheet and you'll see several power ratings that are based on different ISO global and European measuring standards. These vary depending on how the different figures are measured. Some require the alternators, fans and other ancillaries to be fitted. Others just consider an engine's gross torque without deductions, which could be up to 10% higher. If you're picky then the one to look at is net torque, it takes frictional losses in the engine into consideration, as this gives a good idea of real-life performance at the flywheel. Tractor companies tend to pick whichever figure makes their machine look the best, which is usually the top parent torque curve, the boost curve. In reality, it doesn't matter which one you base your decision on, it's more important that you compare figures based on the same standards.